As per question number 11, in a step down transformer which is operating on 250 volt input line, the ratio of primary and secondary winding is 25 is to 12. The output voltage in the secondary is. Dear students, in case of a transformer, E1 by E2 will be equal to N1 by N2. It is given that the input voltage is 250 that the output voltage be E2, this will be equal to 25 by 12, which means that E2 will be equal to 120 volts. And hence, option number 3 is the correct answer. Dear students, now let us solve the question number 12. Question number 12 says, when a bar magnet is kept in a uniform magnetic field, the potential energy of the magnet in stable equilibrium is X. To keep the magnet perpendicular to the same magnetic field, the torque required is T vector. Then the magnitude of T vector by X is. Dear students, in this particular case, the potential energy of the magnet in the stable equilibrium is equal to minus mu B. So this is given to be equal to X. Here mu is the magnitude of the magnetic dipole moment and B is the magnetic field. Dear students, the torque in the case when the magnet is kept perpendicular to the magnetic field is equal to mu B. We can see that the mod of x is equal to mu b, whereas the mod of torque is also equal to mu b. And hence, the division of these two quantities would yield a value 1, which makes option number 2 as the correct answer. Now, dear students, let us proceed and solve the next question, which is question number 13. As per question number 13, an electromagnetic radiation of intensity 300 kilowatt per meter square falls on a perfectly absorbing surface at normal incidence. The average force exerted by the radiation on the surface is. Dear students, the average force due to electromagnetic wave can be written as I into A by C. This is specifically for the case of absorbing material. Here I is given to be equal to 300 into 10 raised to power 3. Area is given to be equal to 10 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter square while C which is the speed of light will be equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8. This is equal to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 Newton or 1 micro Newton. And therefore, option number 4 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 14. Question 14 says, a spherical object having radius 10 centimeter radiates 600 watt of power at 300 Kelvin. If the radius of the sphere is reduced to half of its initial value and the temperature is made double of its initial value, then the final power emitted will be. Dear students, from the Stephen's law, the emitted power is proportional to the surface area multiplied by the fourth power of the temperature and hence the final power divided by initial power is equal to final area multiplied by the final temperature to the power 4 divided by the initial area multiplied by the initial temperature to the power 4. So, dear students, the final power would be equal to Pi multiplied by. Dear students, when the radius is made 1 by 2 times, the area would become 1 by 4 times and when the temperature is made 2 times of its initial value, the factor of 2 to the power 4 comes here as well. So, this will be equal to 4 into Pi, which will be equal to 4 into 600, that will be 2400 watt and therefore option number one is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 15. Question 15 says with what angular velocity the earth should spin in order that a body lying at 60 degree latitude may become weightless. R is the radius of earth, G is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth. Dear students, the apparent acceleration due to gravity G dash is equal to G minus omega square R cos square theta with theta is the latitude angle. Dear students, here latitude is given to be 60 degrees, so therefore G dash will be equal to G minus omega square R cos square 60. For a body to feel weightlessness, G dash should be equal to 0, which means that omega should be equal to under root of G divided by R cos square 60, which will be equal to 2 under root G by R. And hence, option number 1 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve question number 16. 